Hi everyone, how are you today? Are you good? Excellent. Welcome to our English class, okay? For today we are practice a listening. Okay, in your color book, please open in page number 36, okay? Please. And we practice. Activity A, listen and choose the item that Stacy decided to buy to Penny's birthday, okay? You have to listen and you have to decide what is the best item for uh, for Penny, okay? Now, please, try to listen. Track 20. Excuse me, can you help me find something? Sure. What are you looking for? Well, my best friend Penny's birthday is tomorrow, and I haven't gotten her a present yet. Well, we've just received a shipment of board games. Have you played this one yet? It's called Brain Drain. It's a lot of fun. Actually, Penny's mom has already bought Brain Drain for her. Okay. Does she like to paint? Yes. Penny's a really good artist. We have these painting kits. They come with paper, paint, and a bunch of paintbrushes. Hmm, I don't think so. Penny has just bought a similar painting kit. Okay. Have you girls already given each other best friend necklaces? What are those? Let me show you. They come two in a box, and they say best friends. You take one, and then you give one to your best friend. Oh, those are nice. I'm going to keep them in mind. What else do you have? We have these gift sets with bubble bath, lotion, and perfume. Would she like something like that? Maybe. But I think our friend Alice has already given her a bath set. You know what? I think I'll get the necklaces. I know she'll like that. You've made an excellent choice. Okay. What is the best option to buy? According to the listen, Stacy say the best friend necklaces is the best. Okay? The best friend necklaces eh, collar, collares is the correct option okay thank you for your attention my dear student now second listening what is the second listening please open your color book in page number 37 okay in this page we are going to talk about clothes what is clothes Ropa, very good. Now, please, in activity D, say, listen and match with the correct outfit. The person with the correct outfit, okay? Try to listen. What is one, uh, what is one uh, clue for, the, for this activity? Or uh, one is a good K for this activity? In this case, you have to listen about the color, okay? And you can match the person to the correct outfit, okay? Please listen and match, unir, okay? Okay, let's start with this activity. Please try to listen and Track try 21. to do. Good morning, New York. You're listening to the Daring Divas on station WXYZ. <laughs> Now, my co-host, Katie, and I are discussing the outfits at last night's award show. Let's talk about the best-dressed stars first. Katie, what did you think of Sophie Anderson's dress? Her dress was good. I liked the color. Yellow looks beautiful on her, and the red bow across the middle was pretty. What do you think, Veronica? Sophie looked very nice, but... I thought Whitney Conrad looked better. I loved her pale pink ball gown. Oh, I agree. Out of all the actresses, I thought Whitney had the best dress. The feathers and the ruffles on the bottom half were risky, but she pulled it off. Charlene Franklin wore feathers and ruffles, too. What did you think of her outfit? She had the worst outfit of the night. There were just so many ruffles on the top of it. You could barely see her face. And the cape! Yes, that cape was covered in feathers. The color was awful, too. Yes, it was. That greenish-brown wasn't flattering at all. Hey, did you see Angelica Peterson's dress? 
Hers was bad, too. I hated that leopard print. Yes, and it was much too big for her. But no matter how bad Angelica's was, I still think Charlene's was worse. Definitely. Maybe we should help her next year. Okay, finish? Okay. This activity, activity D, listen and mind the person to the correct outfit is your homework. Okay, please. Match the person, Anderson, Brittany, okay? And you have to decide with what outfit it is, is, a, is correct, okay? And you have to take a photo and you have to send it to the classroom, okay? This is all uh, for this class, my dear student. Bye-bye. Take care. See you later.